Right, we are here at Addington and I'm catching up with Trent Yesberg um, after the win of Derby. Firstly, Trent, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for having me. Um, great win. Yeah, thrilled with her. You know, she's just getting better and better and uh, exciting to, to see her really deliver on some promise, yeah. Very, very fast. I um, was watching it up there with her TV and um, the sectional times were coming up and I think the last furlong was in 12.8, like 13.8 and 12.8. That's exceptional speed at the end of a race. Horses can do it middle. Yeah or start, but at the end of the race, that's outstanding. Yeah, she's a bit untapped. Uh, um, once we get her balanced and she gets a nice long stra uh, straight or a run, she can really hold that speed for a long way, and I think that's probably the key to winning today. Is she got quite a nice run, even though she was at the back, and, and she's going to just balance up and, and really stride out, and like, uh, you know, she's got a lot of depth to her, and I don't think, uh, you know, she wouldn't get tired, if you know what I mean. One of the legends of the industry, Drover, Ricky May, um, give a good feedback when he came back? Yeah, he was with her last start. She was very unlucky not to win then. She put a rough step in, so we made a couple of gear changes. And I think if she hadn't gone rough last week, she would have won as well. So uh, came into today with a bit of you know, confidence, but you know, when we ended up at the back, we are sort of you know, uh, scratching our heads. But, you know, uh, masterful Ricky May drive. Um, there's not many other drivers that can drive a horse with that much patience and, and get the splits that he does uh, you know, consistently. Always one of the best, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, Standardbreds, you, you work a few horses. You've got the start, you work Standardbreds, you work Thoroughbreds. We'll start with the Standardbreds. How many in work? Yeah, we've got about 18 in work. Yeah, we've got about six or seven race horses, and the rest are young ones coming through. But we've got an exciting bunch of horses for the spring. Yep. You have? What's, what couple for horses, uh, people to follow? Uh, there's a horse called It's Flash Harry. Um, you know, loyal owners of ours um, breed him, and uh, he's very untapped. Yeah, he could be a really good horse. All right, and we'll keep an eye out for, for that horse. A few young ones, I would imagine, you got coming through as well. Yeah, we've got some uh, yearlings that we bought from the yearling sales that we're still syndicating. Uh, got a very exciting horse by Elite Stride, uh, one of the most naturally gifted horses I've, I've sat behind, and, and a really quality colt by uh, Better Delight out of Elegant Art. So. Elite Stride should make it. The Muscle Hill line just seems to work so well in Australasia, and they, they just get better and better, bet and win last night. It doesn't matter where you go, there are, there's horses everywhere out of that same crosses, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, there is, and I, like, this guy's out of a love you mare, so he's almost got the, the perfect match, you know, and that's why I bought him. Just And sitting behind him, it just gives you goosebumps. Brett Coffey will be happy to hear that. I'll, I'll know if he's watching it. He'll, he'll have sent me a message right by now, but that's good feedback. I mean, size and, you know, all the sales companies I work for, they like that sort of feedback too, so that, so that part's good. Thoroughbreds, got a couple in work? Yeah, we've got two racehorses and two yearlings. Um, racehorses have been going great, so, yeah, really enjoying that part of the business at the moment. Getting a winner? Yeah, well, we've had two seconds in the last two starts. So, yeah, we're getting close, but, uh, yeah, we're chasing the bonus scheme at the moment, which uh, is probably not uh, the ideal distance for the Mia, but uh, she's going great races. Do you, uh, do you get sick of people saying, oh, seconds are good, you don't blow it? It gets frustrating after a while, doesn't it? Uh, it does. I've had a run, run of fourths and fifths in the last, you know, six weeks and probably had four or five horses that probably should have won or could have won if they got the gap, and uh, like Derby did today. But, you know, it, it gets frustrating, but at the same time, we're in, in it for the long haul, you know, and it usually comes back to comes in roundabouts, if you know what I mean. Ripple Creek, you guys breed, you sell, then you buy as well. Do you enjoy that side of it? Like, it uh, must get a little bit confusing from time to time, but do you enjoy that side? Yeah, I enjoy the diversity. Um, I think it's our industry, especially for a young fella that has no family um, history, I guess, in the game, it's, it's really hard to just specialise in one thing. So yeah. we've had to diversify, and, and uh, it's something that we're, we're probably slowly going out of it now, like we're slowly going towards the, the racing side, but um, you know, it's definitely got us to this point and you know, thankful for all the skills that I've learned along the way. Will you miss that side of it? Do you like, is there a side that you like better, maybe purchasing the yearlings or, the, or is it the, you know, the breeding side of it? Oh, I love inspecting horses. You know, like, if, to me, it's all about the animal. It's not winning. It's, it's all about the individual and trying to get the best out of them. And I think that's where it comes to like, the yearling sales and then coming on to racing as well. You know, like that horse last, uh, that just won last night. I went to Bunnings and got some extra foam to put around her uh, go straights, you know, because I just felt like she was just getting close enough to her knee. And I reshot her on Friday thinking uh, I had a theory in my head, you know, and, and it came to fruition today, which I was a bit nervous about beforehand, to be fair, but, um, yeah, I'm glad it come, come, come right. No, it's a good, it is a good sport. Um, it's a sport of highs and lows. There's no worries there, but like, like you say, Derby gets the chockies today. It, it, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, see the look on the, the owners' faces. They've been through, a, you know, the thick and thin. She, she probably underperformed last preparation. She, she showed enough at the trials that she should have been competitive, and she didn't. Um, but, you know, she's come back and, and really put her hand up. 
Trent, well done. Thank you for joining me. Um, apologies for having a take two, but uh, we've got to go. We got it done now. So uh, most people are used to that with me. But well done. Um, keep up the great work and keep up the numbers in the industry because we need the industry to grow. So um, the more horses people bring to the races, the more we have. The more owners we bring to the races, the more horses we can race. So keep it up, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time.